Hey guys, this is Lucas from Art Raving Dad. So today we're gonna draw a wacky wombat. All right, let's get to it. Remember you need your paper and your pens. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first step, what we wanna do is we're gonna do a bunch of shapes for this wacky wombat's face. Now, best thing we can do here is we're gonna do like a big circle here. Because you can go like sideways potato scone, whatever you want to call it. Now up here on the top of this circle, we want to do a smaller circle just there, like that. So we've got two circles, it's kind of like two scones saying hello to each other. Now in this little section here, what I want you guys to do is to do a square. But we're going to try and curve the edges of the square. So you want to start from here, up like that, and then you want to go down like so. Now. This is actually going to form the Wacky Wombat's nose. And then we want to do another line that goes parallel to this long line up there. And then we want to connect those lines together like so. Now at the moment, it just looks like a oval, a couple of, a big oval, a small oval and like a square. But don't worry, it's all going to make sense very, very soon. Now from here, we're going to shape out the eyes. So within the eyes, what we want to do over in one corner is we want to do like another little oval here, like so. And we want to do the exact same thing within this eye here. Try not to touch the outer edges of that bigger circle there. So at the top of these eyes, we want to do like the highlight, which we normally do. So one like so, like that, and another one like that. Now, like we normally do in Art Raving Dad, you just want to color in the bottom parts of the eyes. So as you can see, this forms the wombat's highlights in the eyes. Now from here, we're going to do the wombat's ear, which is going to come up to here. So we're going to go one little upside down U there, like a mountain. Okay, after you've done your upside down U on the side there, we just want to do a little line that goes from the nose to that little eye there. And then from here, we're going to go up a hill from this little eye and come down the hill and we're going to go crash bang into that U and stop. Now from here, what we want to do, let's bring this ear down like a little bit, just like that. We're going to imagine there's an imaginary line that goes underneath here, underneath the ear goes down and stops about there. So it's sort of just over halfway with this big eye. And from here, what you want to do is we want to do one line down like that, and then another line underneath it like that. Two little bumps. Now, here comes the fun part. We're going to do the top of the Wacky Wombat's mouth. So we're going to come down here like that, and then we want to do like a curve that goes all the way into this line here. So follow me all the way in. It's kind of like a half smile into there. Now it doesn't look like there's much going on at the moment. This kind of looks like some odd alien creature, but don't worry, we're going to get there. The next step is we want to do a line that goes down here, sort of like so. And you can imagine this is the Wacky Wombat's mouth taking shape. Now from here, you want to do a line up the way. And it sort of wants to be in line in the middle of this eye. And then from here, we're going to do an up side down C or a U like that. Now the next step is we want to do the other ear on this side. So we want to go a U here or maybe an upside down U. Okay that's looking good. And from here let's fill out the wombat's teeth. So we're going to do one line up and one line across like that. There we go. And then we'll do the teeth over this side. So we'll come about here one line down like on a diagonal and then we'll curve it in like that. That's the top of his teeth and that's the bottom of his teeth. And let's fill out his mouth and we'll do a cool kind of diagonal line up there. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Now the next part, what we want to do is we want to form the back of the Wacky Wombat's body. Now this is like going to be an interesting sort of journey going down a hill and stopping to around about here. So take your time with this one. So we're going to start here, go all the way down the hill and stop. And this is the back of his back. The next thing we want to do, we want to come here. Now, normally I'd make this line that goes into here to form the rest of the body, but he's going to have legs. So we want to do one line that curves around like so, like that. Now next, you want to take that line and go down the way like so, and he's going to have three toes. We go one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, like that. Now the next bit is we're going to do part of his leg or knee here. I'm going to go in like that. Pretty cool. Now from here, what we can do before we do this last leg, we can actually do the bottom of his body. We want to take this line here, stop it there, and imagine an imaginary line going underneath his leg, and it's going to curve in to his chin, like that. Obviously he's got one leg here, we want to do one leg there. So you want to go down like so, and then you want to go 
the flatness of his foot has aligned. And you go one triangle, kind of another half triangle, and then, well, we can call these V's actually, if you want to call it V's instead, like that. And then in like so. And there we go. Now, the Wacky Wombat is almost finished, but we're going to put some finishing touches on him. Now, with this Wacky Wombat, he's going to have his arm here. This is the only arm we're going to see. So in this, he's going to be holding one of those wacky things that you turn around that goes... It's like a noisemaker. So the first thing you want to do is we want to take a big line that goes down like so, like that. And then we want to come out a little bit and do like a line like that, like a bracket, I guess you could say. Now, from here, you want to do a bit of a C, like that. Now from there, you want to do a line that goes in and around like that. Kind of looks like an ear, but it's not an ear, it's his arm. And then we want to go up and around like that. Okay. And then here, we want to do like a backward C, like so. So that's basically the most of his arm there. Now under here, we want to do the bottom of the noisemaker. It's kind of like a backward D, I guess you could say. And then from here, imaginary line going underneath. One line there, imaginary line, one line there. So obviously you can see now he's holding something. We've got the illusion that he's holding something. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to do a line there and go down like that, a line like that. So it's kind of like a backward C. Now from here, with a wacky wombat noisemaker, what happens is we've got a line that goes up like that. And then we have another line that will go like that on an angle, a line like that, we'll go that way. And another line that will go in like that kind of looks like he's about to hold an axe but he's not he's holding one of those wacky things that you wind around and makes noise so you want to like line up there and a line that comes in like so and then from here you want to just join up the top of this wacky maker thing and put a circle or a half circle there so this is where it spins around now because the wombat is wacky let's put in and he's you know looks like he's a bit crazy let's put in like his eyebrow up here but sort of like his eyebrows have popped off the top of his head so let's like do sort of like a banana shape so down like so one there and then you want to hug that like so it kind of looks like a funny boomerang i guess you could say so this is the eyebrow for this eye and then on this side we want to do maybe a straight line like that for the other eyebrow come up on both sides and they connect to the top you know, he's so wacky and crazy that his eyebrows have come off of his eyes. How cool is that? Now from there, what we want to do, we want to add maybe some droplets near the mouth of the wacky wombat when he's talking, he's like spitting some water out. So we want to do one curve up like that. And then we want to do a curve around like so. Beautiful. And then the next set, we'll do a smaller one underneath. One like that. One around and circle around. That's cool. So you can see how it's giving the illusion of him talking. He's very excited with his eyebrows popping up over his head and he's spitting out water. Now from here, what I'd want to do is we want to do a bit of a highlight in his nose. So you see how his eyes have got a highlight? Let's do a highlight in his nose. Let's do one there, one there, another line there. Bend it in like so, and we'll bend it in like that. So when it comes to coloring in, we're just going to color in this part. So we we'll dark color and leave that white, not make it look like a highlight. Now from here, what we can do, because there's a lot of room here, let's write Wacky Wombat's name. So we're going to do W, and an A, and a C, and a K, and a Y. For Wacky, so we're going to do another W. O, we're doing M for Mary, B for Batman, A for Apple, and a T for Terrific. And there we go. We've done our wacky wombat. How cool is that, guys? hope you've enjoyed that. So the next step, obviously, with Art Raving Dad is we're going to colour in. We'll speed this up. We'll come back afterwards and we'll talk about what we did with the colouring in. All right. See you on the other side, guys.
Okay guys, there you go. I've colored in the Wacky Wombat. As you can see, I went really crazy with the multicolors on the letters. And I did some highlights on the teeth, like in blue, on the, the um, water coming out of his mouth and on his nose and so forth, just to give it a bit of a contrast and make him look a bit unique and give the illusion that he's in the shadows or when there's a little light and shade going on. But yeah, like I said, with any Art Raving Dad tutorial, you can do whatever you like. If you want to add a lightning strike up here as the eyebrow, go for it. You want to add a hamburger up there, go for it. You want to have him holding a banana, go for it. Or whatever your imagination you know desires when it comes to this sort of stuff so i hope you've enjoyed this video today guys like always remember to pause the video if you want to catch up and see where we're at so you can like get the finer details going on okay guys so feel free to like and subscribe to our channel um, to keep up to date with, with any other videos that we've got coming out i really really hope you will because we've got some exciting videos in the pipeline so i hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope we will see you in the next video my name is lucas art raving dad this was wacky wombat and as always remember to have fun when making art because we just did that today and we had lots of fun see you in the next video bye